everybody, this is Dr. Anna, and I am your uh, professor for historical geology in the fall of 2015. I would really like to welcome you in the class, and you can um, read the longer version of my welcome note right here. Uh, this here is, as you can see, the announcement, and this is where I will put every important information. So anytime you come on, this is where you're getting, and you should go through and see if I put everything new up. Every single week, I will put uh, up the to-do list for that given week. The to-do list will include the learning unit you have to go through, the internet exercises if there is one for that week, and the discussion board entries. And I will tell you in just a minute about each of them. Uh, what I will do now is that I'm going to go through all the bottom here and I'm going to tell you what do you have to do um, with each. So let's start. This here is the announcement, so I don't have to click on the announcement, but the start here. The start here really is just going to give you pretty good information about how to behave in a course, if you wish. Uh, so first of all, important thing that during this class, when you use Blackboard, please try to use Mozilla Firefox, because it seems like it's much more uh, friendly with the, with the Blackboard program, so that's just the advice, basically. Uh, then here you can read the re required technical skills, so you have to kind of know these things. If you have problems with them, just let me know, and I will probably tell you who to find, and or I probably will be able to help you too. And this last two is the discussion board etiquette and the email etiquette. If you use the discussion board etiquette and the email etiquette, you're gonna be just perfectly fine and you know exactly how to do discussion board and how to navigate through there and email etiquette. Make sure that you put your class and email, your name and what class you're in because I teach a couple of classes so I need to know which one you're in because at the beginning especially I won't really for sure know your name. Uh, the next one is the syllabi. And it is very important that you read this thing. Right here is the general information about uh, Virginia Western policies. So I will go through. I didn't put this in the uh, syllabi. It's right here. So you can see the testing center policies, student rights and responsibilities, the grievance policies, emergency. So all of these are here. Uh, the next one is the student resources, so if you ever need anything, all of it is right here. Le Learning Technology Center, Bookstore, Academic Link, all of the important things are here. And the last two is really what you need. Uh, actually, really all you need is this one right here. The course outline is just for you. It talks about what do we really cover in this course and uh, the official description of this course. So if you ever move out of uh, Roanoke or the state and you want to transfer this class to some other colleges out of state, then this is a piece of paper with which you can prove that this is what you covered. So they will transfer you for credit, hopefully. Now, the one which is exactly about the class is this syllabi. And I'm opening it up as you can see. Okay, so here we are. Uh, probably you didn't know that we we have labs with this class. Uh, the lecture is online, but the the tests are uh, the labs are not all every Saturday but only five. So here are the dates, September 12, October 10, October 31, November 14, and December 15. Uh, this is my name, and I prefer you call me Dr. Anna. Uh, this is my email, and this is my phone number. And I wanna um, point it out for you that this is not my Virginia Western phone number. And please don't dig it out and try to call me there because I spend very little time in my office. I usually teach or or I'm in lab, so don't call that number. This number is my cell phone number right here, and um, 
if you have a question I will get it right away actually even if you email me I will get it right away and most of the time I will write the right answer to you so this is the phone number I want you to use um, if you want to know my office hours actually it's on my door I'm located in the Fralin Center uh, in room 318 one more thing I would like to uh, point out about the uh, syllabi and that is about the lab of course you got to read the whole thing the lab is uh, important because as you can see we don't have but five the course is 15 weeks long so that therefore if you divide 15 by 5 you're gonna get th three so each time we meet we have to cover three three labs basically but of course we have a lot of this uh, discussion board and the problems and we have internet exercises so I take those times out so this is how it come out that we meet at 10 I'm gonna be there around until 3 so I hope it's not a problem for you if you do have any problems just let me know even though I said it's mandatory so you should know that um, and other than that just read through this and uh, let's look at the other stuff in the course so the next thing is the faculty information and again here is my uh, email my phone number my location and there is also a website I got and you can get on that website and you will see that actually I have uh, my classes on the internet here is historical geology so you can see if for some reason the blackboard doesn't work you basically can get just about all the information about the class here too so feel free to to use this resource also I hope it takes us back So after that is the learning units. This is one of the most important place actually. As you can see the whole semester is divided into 13 learning, 11 turning, uh, learning units so it's pretty cool. The first one is the geologic time. When you click on this each of them are actually start with a learning objective part and then if you go into readings and learning materials we will see the homework questions first. The homework questions are really just for you. So I will never ask if you if you wrote it down or if you did it. But my best suggestion to you, and all my students have been doing it, is that uh, you actually try to answer these homework questions. You don't have to write it out, but just before you do the test just try to answer them okay because it's very very helpful for you I do have a slideshow and uh, it's it's a PowerPoint slideshow the best is if you actually print it out and then when you did you start watching the YouTube movies I have the same slideshows on YouTube so you actually can get on and listen to the presentation I do and at the same time you have your printed slides with you and you can make notes for yourself. Hello everybody. So to prove that you actually have watched the YouTube videos, I mean the class uh, material, uh, you have to actually, I put up this announcement just now and I will put the video right there so you will see it soon. Uh, to prove that you watch these uh, class slides or class videos, you have to make a note under each video on YouTube. Uh, so I put together this little um, how to uh, sign there. So first you have to create an account on YouTube and this is uh, a video showing how to do that. And then when you created your account, you can start putting notes underneath uh, of each YouTube movie. So please also subscribe to my channel. You're gonna be okay if you do that. I will see that you watch the movie so you can get your 3% extra credit for being in every single class. Um, the next thing we have to talk about is the discussion board. The discussion board. And some of you already have done, uh, like 10 people have done the discussion board for this week. Uh, 
the first one was to introduce yourself to the class and I hope you all um, putting pictures up also I think everybody did so far so here we are like let's see Nick Camelletti who just um, did it yeah so you did perfectly Nick I'm really proud of you I would like you to tell me something about yourself I wrote it down how and uh, put your um, picture in that if you have problems how to do it I actually have If it goes back everywhere, I guess I can just go here. And one more right here. So right here, instruction for embedding um, an image. So please follow that and make sure that you do embed your image. If you have any question which is cr class related, this is where you go. So please type in whatever you wanted to ask and I will answer it. Uh, after that, just about every week, there will be a, a topic coming up and um, I put like a website there. However, you can find other websites, so you don't necessarily need to go to that one. But please, please um, stay with the, with the topic. So if you choose another website, that's okay. But stay with the topic and write two, three paragraphs uh, after you read an article which you found about the scientific theory and then two people already have said something like uh, Brooke so that's about perfect the only thing you have to do which Brooke didn't so please Brooke go back and do it is that you have to put your um, sources so when you find your article copy the website and just put it under right here so that would be perfect so this much writing and your source now when you have done with it then the next thing you have to do on discussion board that you have to go and read two other people's uh, entry and then say something about it like argue with the person or agree with the person or say what is your opinion about that topic so that's all you have to do on, on um, discussion board so I go back to discussion board so each week you see these are these haven't come up, but it will as we go on every week, one of them. And I have the due date right here. Uh, now, if you, f for some amazing reason, some, some kind of reason which is pretty liable, you couldn't do it that week, please catch up with it as soon as possible because people have to look at your entries and if you're late, then other people cannot really do their job. So please be on time as much as possible and do this uh, part of the class after the discussion board you just have the assignments which I already showed you this is where you drop box all the internet exercises and other stuff you have to drop box and then after that the my grade uh, so I guess I'm more or less done with the in introduction if you have any question don't hesitate call me text me email me or ask me questions under discussion board remember at the questions right here so I hope we're gonna have fun and I can't wait to I can't wait to see you on August, I think September the twelfth. That's our first lab. But of course I will put it up um, as a reminder before that. So I will see you then. Bye.